Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install and run Call of Duty 2 Radiant and make your first map. Okay, go to your internet browser and follow this link here because the first thing you're going to need to actually do is clean up your Call of Duty 2 file. Select download now. When you downloaded it, you'll get a file like this. It'll be a zipped up Call of Duty 2 pure setup file. Run that. Run it next next install it once installed keep this checked click next exit call of duty 2 pure will it'll browse for your, you need to go to where your call of duty 2 files is go to activision cod 2 and double click cod 2 mp.exe and it's gonna show you what is infected well what is modded click move to map to mod folder move completed it'll close the program now your after your your Call of Duty is almost clean, you need to go to Start My Computer, C Program Files, Activision, COD 2, and this is what this should look like in here. If there's any extra folder, any extra files, delete them. Um, even this, delete moved mods. All that should be in there is these three files, and in your main folder, all that should be in there is these files. Okay, now once your folders are cleaned up, you need to go and download your COD mod tools. If you haven't already, go to this link to get them. I will put in the description. Click download now, and after it's downloaded, you'll double click this to run these tools. And your, your tools install will start up. Accept the agreement. Next, 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 or wherever you want to put them in there. Next, next, and it'll install. Okay, and then you can select finish. Now that you're your mod tools are installed. It won't let me delete that right now. Go to Start My Computer because you won't have shortcut icons yet. Go to Program Files. Go to Activision COD 2. Go to Bin and double click your COD 2 Radiant or right click it and click Run as Administrator just in case you're not an admin on your computer. At the start, it's going to ask you for a project file. Just double click the .pjr file. I've already started mine before, so it's not asking for it. Okay, and to start this map, I'm going to have to do this very quickly because I don't have much time. Um, just make any box that you feel like you should make. Um, any size is good. Right, just make sure. It's big enough and right here's your ground level at zero take above this left click pull it up about 128 and a half under 192 okay as you see it's a solid block click this hollow button to hollow that block out you don't want anything overlapping so click t select two opposing walls oh I'm sorry before that before all of this you wanted to make sure we're working with chalk because that is what you work with. It's solid but it's invisible. It's just what you work with before you continue. But anyways, select two opposing walls here and on the grid here grab to the left and pull those back. Make sure that those go back. You don't want any thing overlapping. Now select all four walls after you did that. Change the view of this with the XYZ. Pull this down, pull this up. We have no overlapping walls now. Everything is solid. Now we need to go to textures, usage. We're just going to do floors for now. And select any texture you want for the floor. Hold shift, middle mouse click. There's your floor. We'll use this flooring for the ceiling. Hold shift, middle mouse click for the ceiling. Let's see. For the walls, we'll use this wood. Middle mouse, middle mouse, middle mouse, middle mouse. Of course you use walls and textures, but like I said, I'm on limited time here and I've got to get and I'm trying to get this done as fast as possible now in a map like this you'll need light so right click go to light and there's your light you're not done yet you need to take and move it to the ceiling or wherever you would like the light to shine from and then you would need to click the N key on your keyboard it would bring up an entity box like so right cl click in the key box type in radius type in 300 that can go from 1 to whatever you want it can go to to 999 blah blah whatever you can go way up there I'm doing 300 it's not quite of a big actually I'm just gonna do 250 this is a small room okay press N to close the entities press K because you need to select the color the lights gonna be select white for this light 
okay this lights white now go into the uh, the other corner right click click light again click entity you need to put in radius you need to go t and put this in for 250 also okay close that with the entity box we're gonna make this light green so press K click in whatever color you want we'll just do orange just an off the wall light there it's an orange light you pr press OK close that press escape to deselect anything next you'll need a spawn point we're just gonna make a deathmatch spawn so right click go to MP go to deathmatch spawn center that kinda over in a corner make sure it's on the floor okay and you left click and drag things go to end for entity and I'm gonna press 315 so that it's facing out so that's where you'll spawn from press escape there now we are facing out of the wall next you will need a global intermission to make to where you can select the team you want so right click go to MP and go to global underscore intermission uh, this can go anywhere I'm gonna put it up towards the ceiling center it in the room Wham, that's that's it that's over I wanna center this light too and that's everything there's your map you have lights you have walls you have a spawn point where you'll spawn from you have everything so you can select your teams this is just a deathmatch by the way okay go to file go to save and we actually need to go to since this is in my other directory that I build maps at so and it'll yours will pop up and look like this okay we're gonna save this one as mp underscore temp save it okay you're saved close this program you don't need that no more um, then go to right click on COD2 compile tools right click and click run as administrator it's gonna bring this up browse go to C drive it, it usually automatically gets what you want you know where your files are but if not just browse to where they are click MP underscore temp leave the settings all like this click compile take a second to compile okay and after it's compiled you just close this and you just minimize this box with all your tools in it right now um, actually you can just click back and go to main go to maps go to MP and there's you need this D3D BSP file not the PRT but the BSP right click it click copy now on the desktop I gotta do this as fast as I can go to folder well actually I'm gonna make another video showing how to create an IWD um, that's just how you make your first map. Now on the next video I'm going to teach you how to create an IWD and how to run and test it. Thank you.